Hello everyone, welcome back to this news report. No, welcome back to another video. It's been a while, we're doing a fitness video. I know some of you will be like, finally, he's, he's actually doing what he's supposed to. Yes, it's freezing cold. New year, so of course we're going to start all over again. First video has to be leg day. Legs, because you all love legs. I love training legs. So we're going to do a leg session today. This one, however, I have made sure that it's convenient. What does that mean? You don't have to have loads of equipment everywhere or go from one side to the other. So hopefully that helps. Don't forget, if it's too much volume, scale it down. People always complain about this, but you have to remember everyone has different levels. So if you're struggling, scale it down. If you're struggling for time, scale down the uh, sets. I can't even speak. As usual, I'll give you the sets, the tempos, the reps walk you through the whole session any questions leave a comment below that's pretty much it we're just going to go straight to the workout and um hopefully you're going to have fun with this one i wrote this earlier today and i was like oh this is going to be spicy so um yeah enjoy yeah oh don't forget like and subscribe right let's go i like to train my legs twice a week and i recommend this so we'll focus on anterior quads and calves and then posterior hamstrings glutes and lower back in the second session if you struggle to grow your legs, this is one of the best ways you can approach training them. First exercise is calf raises. Here's a tip, if you really want to grow your calves, train them at least twice a week and do not leave it till the end of your session, rather the beginning or first half of the workout. This way you can really focus on working them rather than at the end when you are tired and don't fully commit to training them properly. A nice and controlled tempo during the eccentric and notice at the top I pause and squeeze my calves like it owes me money. Every single rep. Try and have a slight bend in the knee when performing calf raises standing. Also, if you have a calf raise machine in your gym, then use that. I much prefer a standing calf raise than seated as I find that I can get more of a stretch on my calves this way. The next exercise will be leg extensions. One of my favorite machines in the gym that has truly helped me build my legs. The tempo varies each set, so pay attention to that and stick to the tempo as much as possible. Another thing to note is foot placement changes each set. You can target different parts of your quads with the varied angle of your feet when performing the exercise. Once again, at the top of the extension, make sure you squeeze your quads as hard as you can and try and maintain that contraction as you come all the way down. No, I'm not trying to show off. What I'm trying to do here is contract my quads as hard as I can after each set to not only learn how to engage the muscle, but get as much blood flow into the legs. Give it a try after each set and hold the contraction on each leg for about 10 to 15 seconds. After all three sets, your quads would look like a big giant blob. Moving on to heel elevated tempo back squats. Why heel elevated? Well, performing the exercise this way puts more emphasis on your quads. I like using the Olympic lifting bumper plates as they are higher than normal gym plates, which means I can target the quads a lot more. Knees going over your toes is completely fine when performing this exercise. And once again, the tempo is a major part of this exercise. So not only a slow tempo on the way down, but also on the way back up. 
Most of you are probably used to eccentric tempo, but adding tempo during the concentric is a perfect way to keep the muscle under a lot of tension and another great way to add progressive overload. Try not to rush the concentric no matter how challenging it gets. Make sure to brace your core, engage your glutes and quads before you squat down and at the top avoid locking your knees. By the way, if you want to learn more about growing your legs and best way to program your sessions and what terms like progressive overload mean, check out the full comprehensive video I've done on this subject. Superset the squats with weighted reverse Nordics. This is a great exercise that targets the rectus femoris. It helps to lengthen the muscle and in turn can help with knee pain. The rectus femoris also contributes to hip flexion and if you have short and tight hip flexors, it can change your pelvic position, causing excessive anterior pelvic tilt, which can cause lower back pain. By lengthening the rectus femoris, it can help bring the pelvis back into a neutral position. Make sure you engage your core and glutes before you perform the movement and keep those hips up throughout. You can just use body weight if using weights feel uncomfortable, and you can also scale the movement by using bands as it makes it a lot easier as you can see in the video. Next is everyone's absolute favourite which is the Bulgarian split squat. However, this time I'm going to be evil and make you do this exercise in a front rack position. This is a very challenging way to perform this exercise and requires a lot more core stability than the standard Bulgarian split squat. Performing the exercise this way places a lot more emphasis on your quads and core and makes you work even harder and that is exactly why I love hate this exercise. Make sure to keep that core and glutes engaged throughout and also having the barbell in the front rack position will force you to keep your chest up and avoid rounding your upper back because if you do well that bar will pull you forward. Start very light, in fact if you have never done this before start with just the barbell and at least half the usual weight you would normally use. Also tempo still applies here so make sure you stick to that as much as possible. Honestly I wish I could say you would get used to this exercise but it's pure evil and it just hurts more. The stronger you become the more your legs will grow and you will push yourself even more and that means your soul will cry. If you enjoy this workout well you can have many more just like it as well there are seven other programs in one app which is of course my cross lifter training app it has a comprehensive training and nutrition guide for whatever your training needs are and with more detailed programming to follow from bodybuilding and conditioning workouts to dumbbell only programs and kettlebell programs of course lots of mobility drills you can try my app for seven days free and then decide which definitely of course you will whether it's the right training app for you. Check out the link in my description for more info. If you have watched all my leg videos, this one exercise is a common denominator and that's because the hill elevator goblet squat has been one of the best exercises in helping to grow my legs. Okay, now before I get the comments on how limiting it is because you can't go really heavy well first of all i sometimes use 50 kilo dumbbells thanks to crossfit workouts to perform this movement however remember when i talk about time under tension aka tempo well this is where it applies more than ever because even with just 20 kilos if you keep the tempo at let's say four second eccentric and two second concentric this makes the exercise a lot more challenging and i promise you it will feel absolutely awful in a good way of course so once again, a nice and controlled tempo. And by the way, the last set is five seconds. Yes, five seconds. And at the top of the movement, squeeze your quads and glutes as hard as you can. 
like it what that's right like it owes you money also make sure you avoid locking out your knees at the top of the exercise then after the last set go straight into this rather delightful exercise which is called the weighted prisoner wall sit yes i know it's a terrible name this is an isometric exercise for your quads so make sure as you can see hips align with your knees to keep the tension on your quads and just sit there till your legs can't hold up anymore hands must be on the side of your head not down by your sides or resting on your legs and yes it does make a difference and also yes it does make it harder and yes it is as painful as it looks and this isn't me overacting i promise And finally, if you can walk after all of that and you have time, here is a simple and quick bye-bye legs finisher. 60 seconds, leg only on the bike. Make sure it's on the hardest resistance. 20 jump lunges for five rounds. Oh, that was close. That's the video. Yeah, any questions as, as always, leave a comment. If you stick to the workout exactly how it is, the rest time, no frapping around, no waffling, an hour, 15 minutes. But yeah, like I said, scale if you need to. I've given you options on what you can do to scale. Everyone has different abilities. So when you look at these workouts, don't think because you can't do them, it's not for you. You just have to know what you can and cannot do. Just remember that don't compare yourself to me i've been training for over 10 years so scale if you need no ego lifted and always remember squeeze the muscle like what like what other like it owes you money there you go thank you so much for watching peace out we're gonna jump we're gonna jump <laughs>